In this video, you will learn how to import multiple events from a CSV file into a Google Calendar. So the first thing I want to do is create a Google Calendar to host these events. And I can do that by clicking on the plus sign, create new calendar, and then give it a name. So I'm just gonna call it workshops. And then click on create. Okay, the calendar was successfully created, and then I can go back to my calendar to double check that I did indeed create the workshop calendar. Now I want to create a sheet or a CSV of workshop events. So to do that, I'm going to head over to Google Sheets, sheets.new. And then I can start to create my CSV here but I have a template that I can use in sheets.home and I can click on the template gallery over here once it appears. And under Stony Brook University is the import multiple events to Google Calendar. Now here are the fields that I would need to create the events in the calendar. And they have to be spelled exactly like you see here. So it might be a good idea to use that template rather than typing this in yourself. I'm going to add some events. So I'm going to give it a generic name, just workshop uh, two. And then for the start date, you have to make sure you have the leading zeros. I can't just put nine. I have to put zero nine. And then if it's not an all day event, I'll add a start time, but you have to make sure you format it correctly. So the correct format is, let's say the workshop is going to be at nine o'clock. I don't have to put a leading zero here, but I do have to put colon zero zero and then space AM or PM. And then for the month, I have to put in my leading zero. And then if this workshop's only an hour long, oh, let me fix this. If this is an all day event, I would put true, but this is not an all day event. So I'm gonna say false. And then in the description, I can type whatever I want to be viewable in the description field of the calendar. I'm just gonna copy what's in this one and then put the room number. If this were a private event, I would put true, but this is not a private event. It's a public event. So I will put in false. And then I'm going to add a couple more. To do that, I'm just going to drag them down here and then fix them later. All right, so I have workshop two um, on September 24th and September 25th, and that looks pretty good just to have some content. Now I want to download this Google Sheet as a CSV file, so that way I can upload it into or import it into my Google Calendar. So I would click on File, Download, uh, CSV. And then I'm just going to put it in a folder that I'll be able to find later. Now I'm going to go to my calendar and import it. Click on settings, settings. Then over on the left hand side, you'll see import export. I'm going to select the file that I want to import, which is this one and then select the calendar that I want to import it to. So I want to import it to that workshop calendar. And then click on import. Once you have imported the events correctly, you'll see imported five out of five. So it's a good idea to know how many events that you have ready to import beforehand. And then let's take a look at the calendar. Click on the back button. And you can see that I've added my workshops here. This is the all day workshop. And if I need to on the calendar, I can adjust the times 
I can open the calendar invitation up, add my guests, add uh, a Zoom meeting if I need to, and uh, update my description if I need to. And that's how you import multiple events to a Google Calendar from a CSV file.